What'd they say? You have to listen twice. Larry crowned at the common break area? Yeah, that's what I heard. I wonder why. It's employee of the month day. <laughs> Spectacular. You know, I think I know what this is about. I don't think you do. Run. Hmm. Larry. I'm sorry, but we've come to a parting of the ways. You, Mark, and you. What? This sounds like you're firing me. See, Larry, here's the problem. Your lack of educational background is going to forever retard your movement up the UMART ladder. You're forever retarded, Crown, because you didn't go to college. SMU, class 86. That's solid gold, man. I just don't give those away. <laughs> I thought I was going to be employee of the month. We teach a whole track in hotel and restaurant food preparation. Well, no, 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 I did that long enough. Then I got into a whole different line of work until I was downsized. I'm here to make sure that never happens again. See, did you ever think about studying Tai Chi? No, sir. Cured my diabetes, no lie. Hmm. I recommend speech 217. The Art of Informal Remarks. From toast to job interview, speech 217 will teach you how to communicate with ease and confidence. That's a damn fine zipper, mister. It did get me here for a nickel's worth of gas. Didn't see you in the scooter pit last year. Oh, this is my first day of college ever. I love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. This class is canceled. The state charter requires a minimum of 10 students per class, or else it costs more for us to be here than not, so. Okay, thanks. Anyway. Does this be 217? See if you can find yourself a seat. Hello. <laughs> I've been thinking about you, and I don't even know your name. Larry. Larry Crown. Hi. Uh, this is, uh... uh Lala. Oh. Larry and Lala. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I used to be Catherine until I looked in the mirror and saw a girl named Talia. You? Lance. Lance Corona. Wanna join my gang? <laughs> my Del Gordo. <laughs> This is Lance Corona, classmate and so far, good guy. You gotta untuck the shirt, Lance. So, you wanna ride with us? Sure, why not? So what is going on out there? Just introducing you to a little thing called Feng Shui. Just gonna get rid of some of this clutter here, okay? Yeah, just, you know, don't go crazy. Let Talia do her thing, okay? Life is easier. You are way cooler than you appear. Well, you know, sometimes it just comes down to a good haircut. Thank you. Had to be done, Lance. Spectacular. Spectacular. So this is Feng Shui. Holy smoke. You've got inventory. <laughs> yes, I do. Bad Feng Shui, though. <laughs> I know this girl uh, who does, and the first time she came into my house, she starts rearranging everything I own. She starts rearranging my things and moving my furniture to places that it's never, ever been before. And before I know it, I, I have a Spartan interior design with traffic flow and Feng Shui in which everything has to be set just so, otherwise the chi or the spirit of the house doesn't move. <clears throat> Can anyone remember anything from that? Feng Shui actually works. I read about it in my Asian studies class. 
There are many people who dismiss Deep Space Nine in favor of the original or the next generation. Although I too am a fan of both of Roddenberry's visions, there is no version of Star Trek I do not enjoy. None. As you can tell by my uniform, had I the chance to attend Starfleet Academy, I would have studied the life sciences. Who's cutting my clap? Where's Larry Crown? Remember, you got the flu. Mr. Mack, I <clears throat> apologize. Please continue on with Star Wars. meets Q. What do men see in irritating free spirits? Seriously, I am offering you a ride. Seriously, I can walk. No shoes? You noticed my shoes. Fine, I'll ride, but I will not wear that bucket on my head. It's the law. Oh, this looks like a DUI. This guy's in trouble. Shut up, shut up. I know my right. You understand that? I know my right. All right. Hey, careful with that man, cheesecake officer. out of the sea, tempura is fresh out of the oil, accent on, f -f fresh. But it won't keep overnight. Like Kung Pao chicken, those flavors the next day are deep and delicious. Mm. Samurais are amazing chefs. I weigh like 90 pounds. What's my 2 a.m. meal after a couple of puffs? Chinese food from the Chinese garden with Chinese chopsticks. Yeah. Hey, I am. That's enough of the fake debate for today. Thank you for your passion. So New watch for you. Hey, we all got free tattoos. I wanted something in Japanese, so check this out. That one says courage. That one says spirit. Courageous spirit. Well, that's Chinese. And it says soy sauce. <laughs> Shut up. It does. Soy sauce. New watch for you. Hey, we all got free tattoos. I wanted something in Japanese, so check this out. That one says courage. That one says spirit. Courageous spirit. That's Chinese, and it says soy sauce. <laughs> Shut up. It does. Soy sauce. Be here for our grand opening. Oh, I might not make it. Some of us have finals. Turn, car, four. 
Street. Right turn. Turning right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 